Hello guys, it's Rad and welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th, 2019. And I'm going to use the traditional Reader Way tarot cards for uh, this uh, reading. And now I'm shuffling the deck. And as I'm doing so, I want to uh, remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces star sign and for that reason uh, this reading is going to resonate uh, you know in a different uh, in a different way with every single different Pisces because every single different Pisces has a different situation so for that reason uh, yeah well for that reason if you do want a personal reading so your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot for maximum accuracy. Uh, that is a, a subject of a, a personal reading and for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So uh, cutting the deck now and let's see what we got for you guys. So the first card, wow, that is quite of a start here. Uh, no, the first card that is going to be the six of wands, which is the topic of your week followed by the second card, which is the uh, bad approach that you can take or the things you can do in order, uh, things you can do that can slow down your process or completely deteriorate it. This is the uh, King of Pentacles. Then the next one, it is the positive approach toward the situation or how you can speed up, capitalize on and maximize uh, your growth here throughout the week. That is going to be the Page of Cups. And the last one, uh, it is the final outcome or should you uh, follow the guidance of the tarot from those couple of guidance from the tarot from those couple of cards, then this is what happens here, a card of growth. The final one is always a card of growth, should you follow the guidance. So uh, the very practical interpretation here is, is the long awaited help is finally to arrive for you guys. That is the most practical interpretation of those cards that I drew, but we are also gonna go with the completely general one. So this is going to be, from the overview, a, a very positive week, not just productive, but positive for you with the six of wands here. Uh, it does look like that you are going to be uh, recognized and also you will uh, receive uh, rewards for your labor because the six of wands itself is about reaching a milestone. It is a, about uh, some efforts of your in the past are now finally being consolidated and they are to give results. Six of Wands is about this um, peak of experience, positive peak of positive experience you're going to have into your endeavors, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. This is, as I said, a recognition, a, a praising of one's personality and also an, an opportunity one to present themselves just as one is. That is very, very important. And with this card, it is that you, throughout the week, you will be given an opportunity to present yourself as capable, either career-wise or relationship-wise. Now, the thing with the Six of uh, Wands, however, is that the grand achievement or the very end goal it's far from done and if this uh, or it is far from uh, being uh, grasped and uh, if throughout this week you get everything you wanted in this specific field in your life well the appearance of that card means that you can achieve so much more in it it is just you need to maintain the good performance you need to maintain the communication for example or whatever it makes your endeavor ticking whatever it makes your endeavor growing this is what you need to do so yeah it's going to be an exhilarating week all right it's going to be a, a very positive week career and relationship wise but you should not stop there but rather proceed on forth with what you are doing because you are doing it right the card that accompanies the Six of uh, Wands, this is going to be the Eight of uh, Pentacles. And uh, <clears throat> the Eight of Pentacles here, it does point that you are way, uh, or kind of like, you may take the things way too seriously and uh, uh, kind of like 
seek problems where the problems are not existing all right so it kind of like it asks you to be more like uh, more uh, ob objective is the word that i'm searching but more like calm and 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 uh, analytical when it comes to uh, scoping predicaments, when it comes to uh, scoping problems that needs to be overcome only generally furthering one, one's growth because with, with this combination, uh, because you know you are going to reach that milestone, you will have your conquest and so on and so forth, the fear of losing it is, is going to be something very real and for that reason you know you may want to be or you will be prone to be more meticulous than usual or more meticulous than it needs to and what that leads to is you constantly thinking over what you should do instead of actually doing it and that will kind of make you miss a uh, a moment of opportunity really it's going to make you miss a, um, a kind of like uh, the right timing of you to exert your skills to exert your approach to approach the person you want to be with to uh, or to do what it is required to sustain your relationship or to improve your relationship we are not talking here about sustainability we're talking about improvement so it's going to be a breakthrough it's going to be an, an improvement but you also need to um, need to put your contribution uh, in it the second card that we do have, this is the bad and the negative approach that you can take. King of Pentacles points that this achievement of yours, this breakthrough of yours, this milestone of yours is going to sedate you, is going to... Um, well, we do have an expression in our country being uh, opiated by it, means that you become in... Uh, in a severe state of a, a, a euphoria or a euphoria, okay, and uh, basically you take on this thing as granted, and uh, completely you are missing the point that it has to be proceeded forth instead of being stuck into that place, into this milestone. And as it is a milestone, you know, uh, from now on, you can only just grow. You, you cannot basically go below this, um, this line of the milestone itself. Additionally, the King of Pentacles, uh, it refers to greed, all right? So you should not be as well greedy, uh, greedy especially if we're talking about sharing the uh the good fortune with the people that are involved as well with this endeavor because that could be a teamwork into your career you know or it could be uh, something that you do with your friends etc etc so you should not be greedy but allow everybody to enjoy the good fortune as you are enjoying it as well lastly with the king of uh, of pentacles is going to be important to recognize the uh, sitting into this position, of course. Uh, it's going to be important to recognize uh, the uh, limits and the capabilities of growth into that situation. This is a topic I touched with the first card, saying that you are doing well and you need to continue on doing it as well as you are doing it right now. If you cannot do it on your own, guys, as I said, a uh, long-awaited help is going to come around at your disposal that will help you actually overcome the setbacks or the wall that you are banging against in case you are facing such uh, such a predicament and uh, accompanied card with the uh, king of pentacles here this is the tower card and uh, with this particular combo or the shade the tower card and uh, adds here to the uh, King of Pentacles is a little bit of a, a risky play that you will have to do, or rather like you need to be prone to um, um, take some risky moves rather than to play on sound and secure, because as we said, that is a, a milestone and you cannot go below it. You can only grow. So as you proceed forth from there, uh, risky moves actually is not gonna cost you anything. So with the tower card, and the king of pentacles in the things that you should not do is that you need to kind of like aim to adapt the uh the further growth 
according to your understanding and according to your expectations as well. If you're expecting to be uh, to uh, to receive promotion because you did excellent job into one's project, then that means that you should proceed on forth in there and gather up the courage to ask for it or at least to uh, ask for what conditions you gotta cover up in order to get that promotion and so on and so forth. Once again, guys, this is just a milestone uh, pretty big one, but yet the final goal is yet to be reached or the maximum potential of your enterprise is yet to be discovered. And that leads us to the next card here, which is the Page of Cups. And that is the positive approach that you can take toward the situation or the positive actions that you can do. And the page of uh, the page of cups tells us one thing. It tells us that a the change that you are expecting to happen in your life, either career or relationship wise, it's now looming on the horizon as a uh, as it has now the foundation of the six of uh, of the six of wands, which is the recognition, uh, the prize, and as well you know the capability of yourself to present just as you are. So the change is looming here, all right? And what you need to do is to, instead of being uh, stuck in the irrit irritating minor details, you got to more attend to the overview of the situation. That is one thing. Second, you, uh, in order to do so, you have to also make a, a crucial self-examination and to uh, assess assessment of, of one's position as well. The Page of Cups in a most generic interpretation is all about being wise and intelligent enough to recognize that if you want a change, you also need to change with it. All right. And that's why you got to um, make it a crucial and critical in some cases with you, Pisces, self-examination, uh, assessment of one positions and readopt those examinations or, or readopt yourself and your positions according to the uh, assessment that you are going to give to yourself, to your work, to the people that you are with and to the situation itself. And lastly, with the page of cups, the page is uh, feeling very despondent and poignant when it's not emotionally attached, when it's not emotionally connected. That's why uh, whatever your endeavor is, regardless is it going to be a career or relationship wise, you need to feel the emotional attachment of what you're doing. Otherwise, uh, as you go forth with, uh, with that endeavor, if you don't feel that emotional attachment, this thing of yours that you are trying to develop here or that you will have the opportunity to develop will start losing meaning. It, it will start making less and less sense for you to a point where basically you will kind of like scratching your head thinking, well, guys, why, why am I doing this? You know, it's what is in for what is in it for me. And that's why it will be crucial that you do have the emotional attachment either with your project or with your career or with whatever you are doing career or relationship wise it doesn't matter because this is what is going to give you a determination this is what is going to allow you to make the necessary readoption of positions as the change comes around and you take on that change as changing yourself as well and the card accompanying the page of uh the Page of Cups, this is uh, the uh, Devil card, and we do have passive friends. So how the Devil card contributes into this, it adds a shade of a, a kind of like a, what was the word here, guys? Being convinced that you have done the right decision, all right? It's kind of like having that self-conviction that you could not make a better decision, or in other words, whatever decision you are to make, if it is emotionally supported, if it, you have an emotional connection with the decision itself, that decision can never go wrong. Additionally to that, <clears throat> well, as soon as you start making those adaptations or kind of like uh, you attend to the overview rather than to the small to the small details which are happen to be irritating for you uh, then you are going to see that actually things are starting to happen exactly the way you want them to happen because the devil card is about feeding up one's soul and uh, as a matter of fact when it comes to this uh, composition here with the page it does mean that uh, you will have the capability as you are uh, as you are changing with the looming change itself 
yourself, you will be able to feed your hunger. And that hunger could be a hunger for love, that could be a hunger for, uh, for wealth as well, that could be a hunger for a, a career realization, and etc., etc. And uh, therefore, uh, throughout the process of you changing with the change, your hunger uh, you is going to be fed up and uh, or is going to be fed. And therefore, you need to ask yourself right now in this very moment, what is my hunger? What I do lack in my life and I want to fulfill it? What makes me feel unfulfilled and I want to achieve it and it is exactly where the change is going to come from. It is exactly where that looming change is going to take place. And uh, what will happen as a result of that as you start readopting yourself or reassessing your positions and uh, you know you make that self-realization, we do uh, um, <clears throat> we do have the Knight of Wands and that is going to be a person seeing your willingness, you know, to improve yourself. That is very important because this person always improves themselves as well. They are open for very unstandard uh, ideas. They are open for very unstandard um, undertakings as well. They are not afraid basically to give it a go. And that could be a, a very, very productive cooperation where you actually find your muse, where you actually find your um, enthusiastic goal or kind of like define yourself for yourself in an enthusiastic goal. Now, if we're talking about intimate relationship, that is going to be someone who keeps up your interest because they see what makes you uh, what makes you interesting uh, or interest in, interested into a specific endeavors or into a specific uh, enterprises as well and in generally that is a, a courageous person most likely a man all right which they are not afraid to risk and for them you are appearing as a risk but they are willing to give it a go because they are open for not just surprises but they are not biased by uh by the potential so they are completely pure sincere and condorious with with their approach towards you and uh, basically uh, if you involve yourself for example into a romantic relationship with this guy or you start dating with them they will not be biased that this is going to be just the end you know that that that, that can go only to a relationship uh, to a, a dating and nothing more but they will be open for improvement just like you are so we do have like a, a, a very good match here on a certain level and the accompanied card with it this is going to be the queen of wands and uh, you should be very honest when you approach that guy or a girl uh, because they very well, they, they, that, they do have that sense. And uh, as they are very adventurous and they are willing to, uh, to take a risk, that willingness from them to take a risk is also accompanied with healthy sense of mistrust. So everything you say is not going to be taken as a pure coin here, all right? And one or another way is going to be uh, tested and that's why it's going to be very important that you are open, that you are honest, uh, you express your emotions, you express your feelings, you express your passion as well, tell them what you like, tell them uh, what you want as well, tell them about your ideas and as they are as well can condorious and they do, uh, they have nothing to hide uh, the only thing that they are going to see in you, it's a, a very interesting uh, person, the very least, or a, a potential that it is yet to be unfolded. And that could be the start of a, a very lucrative partnership, business partnership. That could be the start of a, a very passionate and interesting relationship, you know, uh, which is going to improve. Uh, it In either case, is going to improve your um, state, your personal circumstances and your positions as well. Because remember, you are to reach a milestone, you are going to be recognized that you are capable of what that person at the end uh, needs or what they are seeking. So you are what they are seeking. Do not betray that, um, these expectations because, because you do have a lot to gain from that person as well. 
So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Pisces star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way with every single different Pisces because your situations are different from one another. Now, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot for maximum accuracy here, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.